most of you know him as the guy that makes wit witty m remarks in the hallways. And a lot of you also know him as the guy that hosts all the awesome outdoor club trips. But anyone that's taken his class also knows him for all the stories he tells us. Let's take a closer look into the life of Mr. Bruce Sumrall. chemistry teacher at JA. How are you doing, Mr. Summerall? Doing great. Right. How are you? Pretty good. I got a couple of basic questions to get started off. Okay. How long have you been at JA? This is my second time around at JA. I was at JA from 1977 to 1982, five years, mm -hmm. as a junior high dean and then as the high school dean, and then I came back to JA. Uh, this is my 12th year back mm -hmm. as a chemistry teacher. So why did, why did you transition from dean to a chemistry teacher? Well, I went from dean here to being a headmaster in a couple of schools and then went into the business world. And when I got out of the business world, uh, or when I got my kids out of school, I decided I would do what I really, really wanted to do and teach. I enjoy teaching. Uh, and just didn't, That's what I decided to do. Mm -hmm. What other schools did you teach at besides JA? My career started at Brandon Academy. Uh, I taught chemistry, biology, physics, and coached uh, junior high football and high school baseball, and then uh, became a counselor, and then became an as assistant headmaster there. I got my degrees in both counseling and administration at Mississippi College, and I came to JA as a junior high dean. And then while I was junior high dean, we started high school here, so I became the high school dean and the assistant, high school and junior high dean, assistant headmaster here at JA. I left JA to be headmaster at Columbia Academy for a few years. Left Columbia Academy and came, went to Millsaps in admissions and then went into the business world and then spent a couple of years as headmaster at University Christian when they were just getting started in their new location uh, and then back into the business world for a little bit and then to JA. Well it sure sounds like you got around. <laughs> I got around. I had plenty of time to get around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, as, as far as your involvement at JA, I know you're part of the Outdoor Club. How long have you been doing that? Um, when I'm curious, when I, before I came to JA, before I came to JA, I did a lot of just outdoor type things when I was teaching biology. I would take people off and we would go to a lake or a pond and do that kind of stuff. But I really got involved in outdoor type activity, truthfully, when I came here because of Mr. Higgins. Mm -hmm. I would help Mr. Higgins with his trips and then we started doing things. And when the high school started here, then I started working with the high school people. Mr. Higgins continued to work with the junior high and I started with high school people. And then as I went on to Columbia and other places, I, I, I went ahead and just started developing my outdoor club. And I actually did it as part of a business with churches and other schools for a number of years. And then we came back to JA, just got the outdoor club started here and still going. Well, so other than outdoor interests and chemistry, what else are you into? Well, outdoors in chemistry is pretty much, I do, not I'm on my own. I'm a hiker. I like to camp. I do a lot of kayaking. I kayak a whole lot. I write short stories. Uh, you know, I guess that's standard I like to read, but uh, I write short stories. I, I've gotten over the last about six or seven years, gotten pretty heavy into photography, just taking outdoor pictures mostly from my kayak and then spending time with four granddaughters. That's it. <laughs> well, you're just a jack of all trades, aren't you? <laughs> well, not all of them. I don't sing. I don't dance. <laughs> so, do you have any other plans for the future? Well, you know, I'm reaching an age where everybody's talking about who's retiring and who's not retiring, whatever. My plans are to not retire, mm -hmm. ever. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just, I enjoy teaching. I enjoy what I'm doing, and I think if I did retire, I would miss it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to stay at JA as long as I'm healthy and I uh, can still teach and continue to try and make people suffer through chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> That's my plan for the future, and I'll spend more and more time with mm -hmm. my grandchildren as they grow older and, and continue to do, do my stuff. So. Well, I don't know who better to have here than you to teach us chemistry. Well, That's I appreciate sure. that. Mm -hmm. Throw, you don't even need those extra points. Good job. <laughs> Throw that in there. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, thanks for sitting down to me and answering a couple of questions. Glad to talk to you anytime. Yes, Thank sir. you.